Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I have received the new Sky Zones. Now these have been out for a while but this is the second revision of the same goggle. So let's quickly take a look. So first of all the packaging is completely different. Also they provide you with a completely different uh, carrying case which provides this little thingy here which is really nice and overall just seems good quality and something you'd expect for the price you're paying. So uh, let's just take a look at some of the things that it comes with before proceeding. So they do provide you with the uh, faceplate shields or, or foam or whatever you want to call it. So they have this little leather one, which I really wanted to use, but I actually could not use because uh, it was too thin and my nose would hit the, uh, the, the goggle itself. And we'll see that in a little bit. So they do provide you with three types. They give you this leather one and two foam ones. Uh, one foam one has a cutout for the nose, which this one was the one that I first put on this until I noticed that the other one had this little part for the nose here. And uh, that's just me putting it in wrong. So, yeah, just ignore that. Um, so, yeah, this one worked out best for me. And they also provide you with these little spacers. Let me go ahead and show you those. Uh, these little spacers on the side really help with the overall fit and to avoid that nose issue. Uh, so it is, it is, it has been dramatically improved, but not totally gone. Uh, but it's 100% usable in my opinion and in my experience, because this comes down to face structure and it comes down to your personal preference as well. Now, uh, the previous one, I really love the LCDs on so much and obviously it's all the same internal. So I'm going to love the LCDs on this one as well. Um, and it was almost like I mentioned a fat shot. I would have easily used this instead but now we have this version and we're gonna see if that's really true because I said I, I would have completely switched over from my fat shark hd3s to this and uh, so far this is looking pretty good there's some things where this excels where the fat shark does not excel at least for me and what that is is first of all the comfort on the fat shark hd3 is like a 10 out of 10 the comfort on this currently with all these little things added is an 8 out of 10, 7.8 out of 10. So it's top fine, it's totally usable. Uh, it's a lot better than the Eosheen D2 goggles, for example, for me, in my opinion. And uh, now, what does this excel more than the Fat Shark in? Now, it's not going to be about receiver, it's not going to be about modules, I'm not going to get into that. But what I'm talking about is the IPD adjustments. Now, and again, this thing also comes down to your face structure and your eye structure and all these other things. So for the Fat Shark HD3s, I always have this just little extra blur that I could, you know, the IPDs just don't go enough to, to, to do it just right. Cause I think on my fat tracks, I have them all the way in on both sides. However, on this one, I get a perfect clear, uh, LCD with no blurring. And it's, it's really nice, like really nice. That's all I could really say at the current moment in time. I haven't used it in the field and I'm just saying from flying little micros and just walking around the shop with the camera here. Uh, it's it's really they have really good LCDs. There's no ghosting effect. There's no rainbow bullshit effect. Nothing. You get a proper screen inside. Obviously not an OLED like the new Fat Sharks, but a really good screen. And OLED will not make you fly any better, by the way. So yeah, that's something to take note of. And the FPV goggles will allow you to fly a lot better than than the, than the box goggles because once I trans tr transitioned from my box goggles to the HD threes. I, the, my, my flying completely changed. Even the style completely changed because I was able to see gaps from further away and my eyes would concentrate on the whole image instead of constantly looking right and left on that big goggle. But again, you know, I, I don't know. I can't speak for you, but I'm just speaking from my experience. That's all I'm speaking of. So uh, the issue is still somewhat there. It's a lot better, a lot better. It's totally usable now. Uh, the My eye alignment goes in perfect IPD adjustment perfectly fine after a while i think i will have like a little you know mark on my nose or i will probably feel uh, a little pressure on my nose from this little part but with this foam here and the extra padding i put on the side it's a lot better but it's just slightly still there it's just, oh my goodness it's about i think it needs to be about two millimeters removed from this it'll be fine and again my nose is pretty big it's a little bit bigger than average i would consider so if you have the small average nose i think you'll be totally fine here and uh, this is just my experience. Uh, so, yeah. 
And uh, let's see what else do we have. Now the overall functions and, and just everything inside of it is really good. The LEDs, I really love the LEDs, but they will drain your battery, but they're really nice to have. They do have some awesome effects like a breathing effect and all these kinds of cool things. It does have a camera here and I think it's a 720p camera. The menu isn't the most easy to use. I mean, obviously if this is gonna be your dedicated goggle, you'll, use, you'll immediately learn all the buttons. But you know, just out of the box, you need get, get. I need to get. You need to get used to it. Basically, that's what I'm trying to say. It needs some getting used to here. So that's something here. Uh, for accessories that they provide you with, they do provide you with quite a bit, and some things are are basically mandatory. Now, it does not come with a battery, which is a shame. But I mean, I totally understand because the whole new battery issue with a lot of countries. So they might as well, you know, you might as well get it without a battery than have it banned in your country because it comes with a battery. So that's something. Uh, you just have to sacrifice. So they do give you an XT60 to a power input here, so it's really nice. You can use your lipos for this. Uh, they also give you AV in to you know the 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 input here. I forgot what this is called. It's like the three millimeter, three point five millimeter jack to AV out or composite out, uh, which is really good. So you also on the bottom here, if we take a look, we do have an AV in and an AV out. So you might say, okay, what can we use those for? Well, one thing you could, I don't know, like if you had old PlayStation or a PlayStation Two, you can click, you could put it in here. And you can go ahead and just start playing through the goggles, so that's really nice. And you also have an AV out right there. And you might say, okay, what can I use that for? Well, what you can use the AV out for is basically use this as a receiver module and just pipe out the AV out to a TV or a ground station or another LCD monitor or just another goggle, just like a Sky Zone goggle. I think also a Fat Shark, you can do that as well to another Fat Shark, so that's really nice. Uh, you do have headphone jack. And you do have the option to auto record. I haven't tested that feature, but it looks really nice. I really want to test that. And obviously, you do have SD card for recording because it does have an inbuilt DVR. We have USB for flashing the firmware and a mini HDMI in. So it's not an out, this is an in. So if you wanted to connect your PC, you need like a HDMI to an HDMI mini adapter or just a wire that's a HDMI to an HDMI mini. And you can go ahead and start playing your simulators. However, you might think it's really fun. It's actually a headache and it's not really worth it. And you'll gain more experience just playing the simulator without a goggle on your head. It doesn't, it just, uh, it ruins the experience. And because it's, the simulator is all about practice. It's not all about practicing using your goggles. I mean, it, no, it just doesn't work that way. And it's, it's, it will give you a really bad headache. At least that's what it did for me. So I never do that. So that's one thing. Uh, we do have head tracker module inside and you, you have all the options for it the PPM modules all kinds of crazy cool things You can control the LED again and like I mentioned it has a camera with one click you can go ahead and see right in front of you So the OSD and just the overall menu is really nice This thing was really well thought out except you know like I mentioned that nose issue But that nose issue is not going to be present for everyone uh, Just some people just it depends on your nose But it has improved dramatically and significantly so it's, it's really nice plus the price of it is the $380 I think it was 500 when it first came out or close to 500 so I just saw the price right now just to double check it um, 380 bucks is, is really good price actually <clears throat> really nice so um, yeah I've you know if these were out at the same time as my fat shark HD threes they were 500 bucks and these are 380 and I've tried both of them I think I would have just gotten this um, you get I think you get more value for your money But you know some people really like adding external receivers and, and, and you know changing them out and all these things We could do that too here. We can do a mod for this guy But um, if you just want something that works great and they're just reliable and you don't have to fuss with I think this is a really good option I really do think it's a really good option. However, the field testing will come very soon Overall the quality looks really nice. I have nothing to complain about here except the nose part and obviously in the field It'll be a different story and we'll see how well that does um, what else do we have? So yeah, do you guys want to see a mod for this? I think we could totally mod this uh, easy. It shouldn't be that difficult. Uh, we can take five volts to a receiver and then we can just hijack the AV in here and um, we can 3D print a different fan cover here which will hold the module design and 3D print one here. So if you guys want to see that, let me know down in the comment section. Uh, so if, you, if a lot of people want to see that, I will go ahead and start on it. But after I do the field testing of this guy and I'll be flying this week, it's, it's really nice goggle. That's all I can really say right now. And um, yeah, so if you have a big nose, try to avoid it. That's just the honest truth right here. If you had to pretty average, if you've seen my morning vlogs, you'll see how big my nose is. If you have a nose almost as big as mine or even smaller, you're going to be totally fine. It's going to be very nice for you. You probably don't even add that. You won't even need to add all this extra things on it. And you can just have fun with it. So the fit is not better than the Fat Shark HD3s. However, my... Uh, visual field of view is a lot better, not bigger. I'm just saying a lot better as in terms of blurriness. 
this became a lot better and the LCDs on board are really really good LCDs they have really nice uh, image quality and um, it's just 800 by 600 pixel uh, screen but it's 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 a proper proper one so that's really nice and well that's it guys so I really hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, there'll be more on this guy once we take him out in the field and we do some kind of voice over uh, a voiceover while I'm flying and using him between this and the fat sharks and um, but if you're considering this or Iomwe V1 uh, this is it. No, hands down, this is it. I own ways are just a very terrible quality. Not very terrible, not the best of quality. Let's leave it at that. And, well, that's it, guys. So don't forget to get your batteries. I'll leave a link to everything down below uh, if you're curious where to get this from. They are affiliated links, so those greatly support the channel. And, um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you next time with our DIY ESC motor tester. So peace out, guys.